Welcome to the bottom of the rabbit hole. Salute to all the subscribers checking in. You are appreciated. In this video, Ellen Hallman talks a little bit about The Matrix 4. And if this is your first time down here, or you want to know everything about The Matrix Media, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on any Matrix 4 updates. Over the holiday weekend, the Funny and Failure podcast caught up with Ellen Hallman. I'll leave a link to the full podcast in the description. But here's what she had to say about working on Project Ice Cream. Uh, so, yes, uh, we were actually halfway shooting um, the fourth installment of Matrix in San Francisco. And then, so lo and behold, a month, uh, a, a month, not even a month, a couple weeks later, uh, when we were supposed to go to Germany, the world came to a halt. And, of course, um, America was hit super hard. Uh, yay, leadership, or lack thereof. Um, so that pushed our timeline, uh, my God, like six plus months. Um, and of course, that's when the world was knee deep in this. Uh, believe it or not, Germany wasn't on massive lockdown at that time. So it was absolutely surreal to go from Los Angeles, where you, you, could, you could even walk out your door without thinking the sky was falling, and then going to Potsdam in Germany. And Potsdam is a teeny tiny little town uh, outside Berlin near Babelsberg Studios. And, and uh, that's where we existed for months on end. And then Hubby, uh, he's also working on Matrix simultaneously. So it was just surreal that we were both able to exist in this small little uh, uh, enclave for a month at a time. Um, and of course the tides have turned. He's back there as we speak. They're doing um, the next installment of John Wick right now. And Germany's on full lockdown. You're going to appear in Matrix 4. And I heard about your audition story, which actually I'd like to hear that I want to say, which something I found very fascinating about it. So how did you get the Matrix, the Matrix role? What was the audition process like? There wasn't actually much of an audition process. Lana ended up meeting with me. She's very big on energy. She's very big on, uh, she'll know who you are. She'll know what your resume is. She'll know what you're capable of doing. She wants to see what you're like as a person. Like you're the kind of person that she wants to deal with. She's very family oriented and she's just such a, she has such a deep soul. And she will look straight into your soul. Uh, and if, and if, like I said, if you're, if you're mean to waitresses or waiters, she's going to know. <laughs> um, and actually also a little bit of backstory is my, my husband was one of the rigging coordinators and uh, it was an 87 11 action design film. And Chad Stahelski, who's one of my professors, he's one of my mentors, uh, is the one who directs all the John Wicks, et cetera. Um, he, he owns and runs 8711 along with Dave Leach, his partner, um, who runs 879. So uh, I've, I've been in there for six, seven years. So the boys knew uh, what my uh, abilities were or weren't. And Lana was looking for a very particular look. She was, she was looking for a very particular height, very particular facial features. And she didn't, she want, she didn't want an actress to be doubled. She wanted the person to be able to do everything and also be able to be able to do stunts, be able to act. And I just so happened to be in there nearly every day. So I got a, a phone call from the stunt coordinator who's my husband's business partner. Uh, they run ghost stunts together. Scott Rogers, who's the, who was also on, um, he's like, what are you doing right now? I'm like, I seen my bruises. <laughs> Get in here. Lana wants to meet you. I'm like, Oop. what? Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Okay. Okay. So I go down to 87, go down to the shop, we call it the shop. Just had an hour, just an hour heart to heart with her right there on the mats. That's so cool. It was so, it was so surreal, Michael. It was so surreal. And then at the end she goes, welcome to the family. And she oh. hugged me. I'm like, oh my God, family was with Lana oh Chicago. My God. Lana Chicago, whoa, whoa, which house you, oh my God. It was so, it was so surreal. It was such a surreal moment. It's the authenticity and, and Keanu is like one of the most grounded, authentic, wonderful human beings. And he sets that, he sets the stage like that for everyone. That if you're not as, if you're, you, you can't, you can never, one can never be as cool as Keanu. Yeah, he's the coolest. If you come close, then you're part of the fam. That's, that's the sort of thing. She doesn't want anyone messing with that vibe. She must be 
I've studied the matrix. I heard you mentioned in somewhere else that you've also done your research. She must be the most like spiritual human being because I've read that script about 10 times and each time there's more layers and layers. Did she give you any like gems or words of wisdom? Did she leave her body and impart something on your soul? If I could beat anyone for, for dinner, it would be the sisters. It would be those two. Wow. Uh, Lily, Lily was not part of this particular installment. She's essentially, uh, essentially retired. Um, ah, yeah, but Lana, Lana certainly was and she there's no such thing as just water cooler conversation with Lana Wachowski. Oh, that's, so, that's so much better. Everything is just so deep and spiritual. I swear she sees a different realm. Yeah, she'd have to. Kind of like, kind of like when your pet is just watching something. <laughs> and it freaks you out. Like that's Lana. She can see. I swear she sees and hears things that are just on a different spiritual level. And. If, if you if you take the first one, the fourth one is just on a whole other level. Oh, so excited, so excited. It, it has a lot of, there's particular, uh, there's a lot of homage uh, that that uh, will make everyone super stoked with, with, this, with this next one. But it's also, has so a lot of heart to it. A did, lot of heart. Did preparing for the matrix change the way that you viewed life or your, any of your philosophies? I didn't really get much prep. Prep prep was was the seven years <laughs> at 87 and 11. So I was already ready. Yes, and I actually did not, I, I didn't, um, oh, I can't, I can't oh, I have to be really careful, I can't say it. Warner Brothers' is cameras everywhere. They have a chip in my brain. <laughs> I'd explode, yeah. So I thought it was very interesting that Ellen Hallman mentioned Lana Wachowski had very specific height and look requirements for the role, especially when we consider the very Trinity-like hairstyle she has in the Matrix 4. Don't forget to show off your Matrix fandom by ordering the custom-made Resurrection Code sneakers. If you appreciate this kind of yellow-pilled content, be sure to share it on other platforms like Facebook, Reddit, Twitter. And remember, as one realizes that one is a dream figure in another person's dream, that is self-awareness. <laughs>